going down YouTube family, Mike Durante here and we are back with another tutorial. We are back here today to unveil some juicy content for all you video editors out there. And with that being said, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, why not consider subscribing as it'd be greatly appreciated and help out my movement. After Effects is the program that I choose when doing these three techniques, but if you use Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, or Premiere Pro, the techniques will be able to be done in all three of the programs. One of the techniques is unique to After Effects, but if you don't use that program, you can kind of replicate the techniques inside of any other editing software, as long as you have the capabilities to mask. So without further ado, let's pop open this little can of knowledge and teach you guys three different techniques for doing a sky replacement. All right, so the first technique we're going over today is the luma key method. It's relatively self-explanatory because all we're going to be doing is using the effect luma key. So let's select our base layer and go over to our effects and presets and type in luma. And then you will see the luma key effect pop up. Let's take it and drag and drop it over our base layer. And then we're gonna wanna go over to the effect controls panel and switch it from key out darker to key out brighter and boom. We now have a black screen. That's exactly what we wanted to do. So to get our foreground to show and have it just be a nice sky replacement, we need to increase our threshold until we see it start to show some of the sky. Once it starts to reveal some of our sky, we wanna just start slowly going backwards until we get as much of the sky as we can removed. And then to clean up the sky replacement, you wanna go back over to your effects presets and type in key cleaner, and then take the effect key cleaner and drop it over your base layer. This is just gonna refine your edges and make everything a little bit smoother. And now we reveal our background. One of the first things you notice is that there's little pieces of orange popping up inside of our sky guy replacement. And to get rid of that, what we have to do is duplicate the base layer, remove the key cleaner and luma key effect, and then click G or the mask button and create a mask pretty close to our edges just so that we get rid of all the little mistakes that the luma key effect made. So then take your two base layers, pre-compose them, moving all your attributes into a new composition. So we have successfully done a sky replacement through using the luma key technique. But when you look at it, it kind of looks like shit. And that's because there's one final step to any type of sky replacement you do, and that is applying a color grade to your base layer to make it blend with the sky that you're replacing it with. So head back over to the effects and presets and type in Lumetri Color and then take that effect and drag and drop it onto your pre-comp. From there, you wanna make adjustments so that it better blends with your replacement. So I'm just gonna introduce a little bit of pinks and a lot of orange into the image, add some contrast, decrease my shadows and highlights a little bit. And just like that, we have made the image blend so much better and successfully completed our first sky replacement. So now we're moving on to method number two, which is the color key method. So to do this, we're just gonna be looking for the color key effect inside of your effects and presets, and then take it and drag and drop it over the base layer. Then head over to the effect controls and click on your dropper so that you can select a color from inside the image. So now that I've selected my color, I just want to increase the color tolerance so that I can start to remove some of the background. But as you see, I fucked up a little bit and I took out the foreground of the image. But have no fear, there's an easy way to work around this. So just decrease your color tolerance a little bit until you reveal your foreground again. So now you want to apply another color key effect onto the layer and select a different color orange and then take away a little more until you see that it takes away your foreground again. And then just keep repeating the process. Add another color key to it, select another color, and move that color tolerance to the best you can, and boom, we've removed the sky. And then just like in the last technique, we're gonna take our key cleaner effect and drop that over all the work we just did just to refine our edges ever so slightly. And now we can reveal our background. And as you look, yet again, it looks like absolute shit because our base footage was sat at sunset and we're replacing it with night footage. So to work around this, just like in the last one, add a Lumetri color and we're gonna do a little bit of a color grade to the base layer. I'm gonna rip my temperature up and my tint a little bit, increase my contrast, decrease my shadows, and essentially just make this into a silhouette. And then I'm actually also gonna just decrease the brightness of the background a little bit, just cause I feel like that'll help it blend a little bit better. And as we play that back, you guys see what we were able to do with the color key method in removing this background and turning it into a whole new sky replacement effect. And now we're on to the last method in this tutorial, which is the rotoscoping method. So if you're not using Adobe After Effects, you're not gonna have the capability to do rotoscoping, but rotoscoping is 
essentially just masking. So the way to work around this and use this technique would just be to frame by frame mask out your background. If you've ever done frame by frame masking before, as you would think, it'd be very much worth it to just get After Effects and use the rotoscoping because it's a phenomenal tool that is inside of this program. So we're gonna open up our base layer and then either click Option W or hover over our roto brush tool and click on it. And then we are just going to color in the portions that we want in our background. After Effects should do the rest of it. We may need to do a little bit of refining. So let's just select the rest, come on. So now that we've selected our foreground, we can click space and After Effects will begin to analyze the frames coming forward and doing the rotoscoping for you. It gives you about 20 frames worth of rotoscoping. So once you see that it's about to run out, just click pause on it and then do another little slash and it'll give you 20 more frames. And then repeat this process for the entire duration of the clip and the portion that you're gonna be replacing the sky for. All right, so now that we've completed our rotoscoping, let's head back to our composition and you will see that we have removed our background. And just like in any of the sky replacement techniques you've seen me do so far, I'm just gonna add key cleaner on top of everything that we've done just to refine it a little bit further. Now we can reveal our replacement layer and I'm just gonna change the positioning on it ever so slightly just to have it a little bit more lined up with the horizon lines. And as you can see, we have an amazing sky replacement, but the overall effect kind of looks like shit. And that is because yet again, we need to color grade our base layer so that it blends better with the replacement layer that we put in. So head back over to your effects presets and drop on a Lumetri color effect. And then just begin to play around with it so you get your desired look. I'm gonna desaturate it a little bit. It's a little bit too much. Add a little bit of contrast. Blast my shadows, decrease my highlights. And yeah, and then just go through and add a little bit of punch to the image till you get your desired look. My blues are a little bit too bright, so I'm just gonna go into the hue and saturation section and just take out some of the color of the blues. And boom! And as we play it back, look at this amazing sky replacement that we were able to do. Rotoscoping is by far the most effective of the three methods that I taught you guys today, but it's definitely also the most time consuming. So if you could get away with using color key or even luma key, it'll save you a tremendous amount of time. And just like that, you guys have learned three different ways to do sky replacements inside of Adobe After Effects. Just to reiterate the different techniques that we went over today, they were the luma key method, the color key method, and then using rotoscoping. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment on the video. You guys can check me out on Instagram at MDWizard. I think it's time we wrap up this video. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed the content today and found it a little bit insightful. And with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.